How's it going everybody? This is Bill back with another video for you. This time I have my two baby spotted turtles. Now you can see the size difference there. Uh, the younger one, not that great of an eater, does not eat pellets. So I'm thinking about separating the two. That's probably the best thing I should do. But for right now, I'm just giving them food items that they're both going after. The first one, of course, right there, he's eating lots, or she, she rather, is eating lots of pellets, growing really well. I have them in this Zilla turtle setup here with the diagonal glass. I've got an internal filter that's working fairly okay. I've got some cherry shrimp in here as well. Sorry, uh, really shrimp. Um, basking spot is nice and warm. I've got the Zilla UV bulb in there as well as the um, smaller halogen spotlight. Um, Water is very shallow. Uh, with this species, they're very prone to drowning, so you want it uh, deep enough where they can flip upside down uh, if turned, flip right side up if turned upside down, but also um, able to, um, let's see, let's zoom in a little bit, sorry. There are the critters there. So that bit you see there is just a little bit of food debris, uneaten food and I'm actually going to feed them some chopped up night crawlers right now. Um, so come with me, we'll go into our upstairs kitchen area with his, hey doggy, which is just my bathroom area with his and her sinks. Um, I'd probably not watch this part of the video if you little squeamish about um, critters getting chopped up, but I have here the night crawlers that I'll be chopping up there. So I've got a little night crawler holding pen right there. Uh, it's just a two gallon tank, that two gallon terrarium that I um, have a lot of good soil in and uh, to do some gut loading there. I actually throw uh, turtle, aquatic turtle pellets in there just as a, um, as a gut load for the night crawlers. So this is the part that's a little bit uh, not friendly for the night crawlers, but if you've got very small turtles, it's a dirty job that you have to do. Um, be fairly committed to uh, this particular species. Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing with the knife, but also be able to get everything for you. I gotta empty that trash. Hey, Kiki. Hi. Yeah, you can't have night crawlers. So what I do is I place the chopped up night crawlers towards the front of the enclosure. Let me set the knife down here. And then I'll kind of just step back. So you can see I'm in a bedroom. Bed's in my, the unmade bed is in the background. You can see in the reflection there. But I've just got some fake hanging pothos there. And some live pothos just growing submerged in the water. The dark shapes that you see there are just um, almond leaves that I've placed in for the shrimp. Kiki is in a playful mood. So now I'll just set up the camera in the next clip for you to observe the turtles eat.
So this is the smaller of the two turtles. Uh, she's already eaten about three pieces. And now she's probably just checking out the camera hovering over her. Uh, they're very shy as youngsters. Um, and even my adult female could have moments where she's extremely shy as well. Quick to flush into the water when they're basking. Um, right now the larger of the two hatchlings is stirring up some of that sediment that's collected since the last cleaning. So after a good feed, a heavy feed like today and this morning, this morning I dropped pellets in there and they've kind of crumbled it all up, attempting to eat it. Um, I will do a water change. Nearly 100%, I'll take them out. Uh, as long as the temperatures are, are the same and the water is dechlorinated and treated, uh, it shouldn't be harmful to them. And I know this because I've got very sensitive really shrimp living in here and they seem to be doing fine as well. I don't have a heater in here. This is a species that prefers cooler water. Um, we are in winter time here, but it, um, this tank is indoors. Uh, it's constant 72 degrees in terms of in the house and that UV and basking lamp increases the temperature a bit when they are basking. In the warmer months, I've actually housed the adult female outside uh, here in San Diego. Um, I've yet to house her outside during a winter period, and that's just my preference. Um, I've since torn down the pond that's in the patio, and the adult female is currently inside in a, I believe, 125-gallon aquarium that's, of course, just filled to about four inches or so of water. Again, very shallow, plenty of things to climb up off of in order to um, you know, keep from drowning, I suppose. And I'll make a video of the adult females enclosure in the future. For right now, I just wanted to kind of give you a very shaky video of what's going on with these youngsters. So there's the bigger of the two, very shy. And there's the, uh, the younger slash smaller. So I think I'll leave them be. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, you can see they're quite spunky there. Uh, they'll continue to eat as I'm no longer observing, and I'll kind of just take a back seat so that I'm not disturbing them as much. Oh, here, we'll go for one more morsel. So. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.